All right, just got this package in the mail. It is from Fountain Pen Day from Pen Boutique. This is their mystery box. It's for $50 and you don't know what you're getting. The minimum value of the contents are $90, but some lucky people will get something much more valuable up to $650. So let's see what is in this box and what I ended up getting. As you can see, it comes with the 10th anniversary fountain pen day uh, sticker. I'm gonna just take out this packing slip here. And sticker, or it's not a sticker. It's just a label. Okay, so then let's open this up. Alrighty, let's see what is in here. Okay, falling out of the box is something from Faber Castell. We have Fountain Pen Flush and Monte Verde Regatta, a pen sleeve, a bottle of ink. Monte Verde Black, or Midnight Black from Monte Verde. It's good, I actually needed a bottle of black ink, so that's nice. Uh, some Fountain Pen Day uh, wax stamps, just to celebrate. I don't know if these are stickers or not, but okay. So in this bottle, we have Monte Verde Fountain Pen Flush, guaranteed to remove old and stubborn ink buildup and fountain pens with the perfect balance of ingredients. Makes your pen write like new again. All right, interesting. Let's see what this Faber-Castell is. It's a fountain pen. It looks like it might be pink. Oh boy, that's interesting. Not my style, but let's see. It is I have the black medium nib there. There's a texture to this fingerprint, so it's raised up. Uh, that nib is interesting. It sort of looks like it bends down. Um, I've never used the Faber Castell before. Let's see if I if that continues um but yeah okay now for the regatta limited edition number 1292 of 1999. Alrighty, so it is obviously the regatta, which has the multiple bands of whatever version it is. This one is wood and carbon fiber. It's a nice big nib. There you go. Comes with the converter, which is nice. It's a screw-in converter. That's a magnetic cap there. You can see if I let go, maybe just kind of wants to there, click in by itself. Okay, so you can see that limited edition carved in there.
Great Dot uh, Monteverde USA. And I assume it does post. Yep. It's not too badly balanced like this. A little bit back heavy, but um, I mean, it is a heavy pen. It's a big pen to begin with. So, well, big pen posted, I guess. But by itself, like this, is not too big. What else comes in the box? A couple cartridges of one blue, one black, and some information about Monteverde, refill, instructions, warranty, all that good stuff. not a bad case that it comes with kind of a probably a leatherette on the outside um, obviously it's I don't know, hunter green or so but it's nice cushioned all the way around so yeah not a bad case I guess lastly here is the single pen sleeve Pretty thin leather. Don't know what brand or anything that this is, but there you go, that fits in just fine. Actually covers it nicely. All right, so I just checked the value of each item just to kind of get a count of, you know, you pay $50, how much do you get out of it type of thing. So here is the rundown. The bottle of ink is $10. This, uh, Faber Castell WRI Tink in pink is $14. I think it's a closeout item discontinued, so probably trying to get rid of it. The flush here is another $14. I guess also it looks like they are maybe discontinuing it or not restocking or something. Um, the sleeve here is just, I guess, a Pen Boutique boat. Uh, pouch for ten dollars, and then the regatta itself, which is the explorer edition, um, is one hundred dollars right now. I guess MSRP one twenty five marked down to one hundred. Um, so that is a grand total of one forty eight. So basically one hundred fifty dollars. Um, so not bad. All things considered, you know, you pay $50 and you get $150 worth of products, which, you know, it's up to you whether or not you will find use or value out of them or, uh, you know, like for example, I likely will not use this, but who knows, maybe I'll play around with it. I don't know. Uh, definitely not my style. But this is interesting. Um, it's walnut and carbon fiber. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting look, definitely unique, nothing like anything else in my collection. So, uh, you know, it's a chance to try something new, which is basically what the idea is, you know, go out on a limb, do something you normally wouldn't do, get something you normally wouldn't get and see if you like it or not. You know, it's not a big risk financially. It's only $50. So, uh, not too bad. All right, so that is the unboxing and reveal of what is inside the Pen Boutique mystery box from Fountain Pen Day 2021. I'll probably do another video about the regatta itself. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, thanks for watching.